Hello everyone and welcome, this is Jay Sham Wow here with you and I'm just here to explain a video which is um, DYE or Die Die's um, music video fantasy, it's their official music video and mostly it's the video that captured people and most people just look at it and they're just like what the hell did I just watch when really don't look at it as too weird know the person that made this wasn't high this really is actually a very simple concept it's basic symbolism and you just have to look really deep inside of it and you'll just like you'll understand it so pretty much I'm gonna tell you <coughs> the main concept so watch the video first look down below and if you don't understand the main concept I'm gonna tell you right now so you can watch it again and then you'll see all the little elements in it that show why so the main theme of this is how it's ba the video is basically showing the cruel and disgusting side to growing up in society and like exploring into the outside world and losing your innocence in the outside world and um how if you're too prude and you're innocent basically the truth as you can see in the end when the girl's eyes they explode um if you're too prude the truth can like blind you pretty much well not necessarily blind you I mean sort of like a like not an oxymoron what the hell is that thing called a paradox or whatever um, <coughs> it's pretty much showing how like um it's like the truth is overwhelming and how like the outside world is too overwhelming for the girl at the end which is why her eyes explode that it basically symbolizes that um, so go watch the video again and if you still don't understand it if you understand it click off this video already but that's my phone sorry but if you don't um, stay here and I'll tell you each and every element this is gonna be very 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 long so um, this is only for people that actually want to understand and I'm gonna lead you to all of the things that um, lead me to, to believe that um, lead me to believe that this is what the video symbolizes sorry for all the stuttering this is like unedited and stuff I just felt like I really needed to do this and I don't have a real camera which is why I haven't been doing real videos but okay so the video starts off and it is nighttime it is not nighttime but like right after sunset it, it appears um so what this symbolizes is um when we think about night we think about breaking rules we think about uh, college parties we think about um, high school teen bashes we think about um, robbery we think about um, typically that's when sex happens um, and the funny thing is um, the lights are going down pretty much so it's basically like um this is the hour where like the rules are gonna be broken like um, the night is usually usually symbolizes uh, an eeriness not I don't even think that's a word but it's like eerie it's uh, mysterious it's um usually where like inevitable um, darkness happens so <clears throat> that's basically what it's saying so like the Sun is going down and so inevitably they're gonna reach darkness that's what it's uh, symbolizing here so let's move forward so we got four teenagers now in teenagers we know that teenagers are insecure teenagers are curious um, and they'll go searching around and they'll be breaking the rules just to experiment so they find this pool and you'll see that they um, look inside and out of curiosity they go inside and out of um they feel adventurous I'm guessing same so they move inside the first guy walks inside and he's down there he, he appears to be the most bravest the most curious he looks at the pool and the music actually starts pumping up it actually gets a little more giddy here and he smiles at it and it seems to be like it seems to be like um, a fun video it seems to be like a um, a happy video a video that's gonna be happy so right now you're thinking that oh the pool is symbolizing something that's good but I'll get to that later because on the surface the pool looks beautiful oh so now you see when the guy like grabs the girl's ass and stuff I guess that's just symbolizing temptation in teenagers so apparently like growing up they used um this is just like showing the sexual side of losing innocence and like um growing up in society but it's not only about the sexual stuff guys so don't think it's only about that this is just an example that they're using to interpret this okay he brings the first girl down
And they got the little panty shot thing, fantasy. Notice how the last girl is the one that appears the shyest. The last girl that comes down. And she's the one that is most dressed. She jumps down. The guy tries to help her down. But she jumps out of her arms out of shyness, I'm guessing. You look at her face and she looks like, eh, we shouldn't be doing this. She's kind of undecided, insecure, you know, that kind of face. And very shy, you know, she's holding her arms like uh, like this. You can see that's like a sort of mellow shyness right there, body language. The other girl looks like um, a freak, pretty much. <laughs> the guy offers her soda. I don't really think that means much. Uh, let's not be too excessive here with the symbolism. I'm just trying to ex um, show you every aspect. But you can probably interpret that as something. I, I think I can interpret it, but I'm just going to skip that for now because that's not really that important. Notice, the first guy that walked in the pool, he's the first one that jumps into the pool. He jumps into the pool. He's shirtless. So he invites the second girl that he touched before, like when he touched her ass. They both dive into the pool without fear without any kind of doubt in their mind they're very curious they're very adventurous they jump into the pool they're the fun kind of teens that they're just out there to party you know what i'm saying without risks i mean they'll risk it all and they don't really care they show you the clothes oh 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 let's go back i just got a random idea right now so after they jump in the pool you can see it looks at the ceiling and then it looks at the clothes and the bags that they left behind outside of the pool that symbolizes Everything that you leave behind and everything that you're risking in life when you go outside into the um, into the real world, when you lose your innocence, blah, blah, blah. So the guy's talking and that other mellow girl. I hope you're, fo you're following me with the video here. So she's talking and she's just looking at them. And they're sitting there making out. The other girl is like, yeah, making out. And she guides his hand to her genital area. So they're there, and the guy got closer to her. The guy that was um, flirting with the uh, mellow girl, the prude one. As you can see, they're doing like their own little sexual thing in there. And she's, the guy's about to kiss the raven-haired girl. She blushes out of shyness and bashfulness. And she jumps into the pool. I, I don't really know why she jumped into the pool. Um, but you'll see why in the next part. But, okay. So she jumps into the pool. She looks up. Nothing. And she's just sitting there. It's weird. So it looked, she looked very relaxed and she suddenly seemed surprised. Now look at this. She looks down and there's something in her skirt that's like rattling. It's like people are like, is that a fetus or something? And no, it's not. So she has these weird feelings. So right away she gets out. She jumps out of the pool. That symbolizes um, someone just getting out of the real world. Being a little scared of like the feelings that they're getting. I'm guessing like they're saying that like she was turned on or something like that. Basically, the pool is like some sex freak or something. All right, all right I'm just being stupid now. But like... <laughs> all right, <clears throat> hold on. Let me get my thoughts together. So basically, um, the pool is the source. The pool basically is the real world that those people jumped into. She jumped into it. She jumped back out of it because she started getting those weird feelings, those guilty feelings, I'm guessing. Um, all of those sexual feelings sexual feelings of sexual desire um as you know it's not merely just about sex this video isn't just about sex it's about growing up and the disgusting side of losing innocence which is why they chose sex because check sex is often looked at um as disgusting by prude people so the girl's sitting and she's like shaking and she's scared You guys probably already get the point by now. So she's there. The guy asks her what's wrong with her. She sees a shadow of her. And it's the same exact two people that jumped headfirst into the pool. 
without um, without remorse. Now this this is this is where it gets crazy. At two twelve, at exactly two fifteen, you will see a still image. Um, there is pretty much the moment where you're like, "What the fuck?" But here's what it's saying. Notice, both of them, their bodies are pretty much intact. Now the only thing that's um like deformed into a monster is the guy's hand, which is pretty much saying that the guy's hand became the monster because it is the cause of both of them losing their innocence, which is why it is attached to the girl, and it's basically a monster, and they're both zombies. Um, zombies overwhelmed and controlled by um, sexual desire. The centipede crab just comes out of her. And the guy like throws up from looking at it, but I don't really know what that means. The guy rips off the guy's clothes and completely like humiliates him. And the girl like bites off his penis. Oh my god. Um, I'm guessing that just symbolizes. Mind you guys, I'm just doing this off of the top of my head. Because I only saw this video once. But I'm guessing that that symbolizes how, um, it ultimately just hurts you somewhat I mean it's not really I mean sex isn't a bad thing in my opinion but it's pretty much showing the disgusting side and how losing your innocence can actually hurt you and harm you and blah 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 the girl tries to escape but no she already started she, you see as the um, raven haired girl she tries to escape but no she already started to experiment so she cannot get completely out of the real world you can't just like jump out of the real world once you're in it like once you're in the problem you have to stay in the goddamn problem so no you're not escaping that bitch she's there she's crying she's overwhelmed she doesn't know what to do she tries to get out but she just can't escape it and the monsters are about to attack her um, and the monsters I'm guessing probably symbolizes Temptation and the pretty much the cause of um of like them losing their innocence and whatnot. I know it's kind of confusing, but if you get the concept for yourself, I mean this concept is like really hard to explain, but if you get it for yourself you'll understand. So she's scared out of her goddamn mind, and yes, these are creepy images. So the um dodging out of reflex, she jumps into the pool. So, she's into the pool, she dives head first. Now she's surprised because she sees that the bottom of the pool is another like portal thingy. So there you're looking and you're like, whoa, this is kind of trippy, this is weird, now this is getting kind of weird. So she touches it, and she's like, is this an escape? I'm guessing out of curiosity, just like teenagers are, experimenting, blah blah blah. She steps into the portal. Now notice here, I found this very interesting. I'm not going to tell you anything, but you can interpret this as however you please. When she steps into the portal and she comes out, there is darkness over her head. Remember, she is prude. She is innocent to everything. She, she did not want to engage in any kind of sexual activity. She did not want to expose herself. She did not want to get in the pool in the first place. She was very undecided and insecure about getting into the pool and trespassing in the first place. Oh, by the way, those first two comments on that video notice how it's me those t those first two top comments that was me explaining it just like I was just touching upon it that wasn't me really going in depth so remember she's prude and there's darkness shaded all around her when she gets into the portal now gradually you'll see that the darkness fades away and the brightness comes back at her now what does light symbolize most of the time in a lot of books and a lot of poetry we see that the Sun and the light it um, symbolizes truth and how you can't stare directly at the sun quickly because your eyes will burn. I mean, it, it hurts because the truth hurts. And the truth is bright. I mean, it is enlightening, yet it hurts if you stare directly at it. Now, without preparation, because this girl is prude, without any kind of experience to anything, instead of turning into a monster, you will see that the light 
emerges and she looks at at the light and her eyes become bloodshot, start shaking, and they explode into flames. Basically, you'll see another comment that I put here and I'm basically just quote unquote. Someone at um after I um put all of the um what everything symbolizes on those two comments, someone asked me Hold on, let me see. Let me find it. Let me find it. Sorry guys. He said then what was the place with the planet monster guy that made her eyes explode? And I said, that, sir, is the world. The pure, raw chaos of the world. Innocent eyes cannot handle the truth and burn with overwhelming. Yeah, pretty deep shit. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. I know, basically, this was off the top of my head. And, like, you might not understand. Some of the stuff that I might say is kind of trippy. Because I stutter a lot. But don't overthink it too much. The concept is very simple, like I said. Just take your own understanding from it, too. You can add stuff to it. I mean, you don't have to take word for word. But, basically, the theme that I said, that's basically what it is. But there's different elements of symbolism in it. And I try to take it into super detail. The only thing that I ignored was basically the little part when she clicked open the soda. When the guy clicked open the soda and, and offered it to her and she said no. Um, I guess you can interpret that as yours. I don't think that's very that much important. But I'm guessing it's just probably just uh, symbolizing her being offered something. Offered um, things like temptation and stuff like that and her resisting it. But eventually she had to jump into the world anyway so that's another concept how um, no matter what you have to jump into the real world and no matter what you'll be blinded by not blinded but you'll be exposed to the truth and how you have to lose your innocence no matter what no matter how cruel no matter how disgusting it is she had to jump in that pool of chaos anyway that is another concept there's basically two concepts I said one theme and I said another theme in it there's different messages that you can take from this and they're all based on your own personality too so I mean uh, it mostly has to do with sex but you can take it into any you could take it into any other topic as well like just losing your innocence period being exposed to the truth being exposed to the world that's basically what the video was about being exposed to the world and the cold and disgusting um, side of it and I didn't ignore it, but I did mention to you how the darkness um, fades out and stuff like that when she gets into that warp rift or whatever, which was the core and heart of pure chaos. She basically saw pure, raw chaos or pure, raw um, truth, pure, raw world. That was the world bare with no clothing, not sugar-coated, no nothing the world as it is in her face boom this was Jay Sham Wow with just a little bit of the truth hope you enjoyed this peace